list. Now, I have my updated list, my top five first round targets at number nine overall for the 49ers. And here's a new name, Marcus Davenport at number five out of UTSA. Really solid campaign in 2017, packed on 30 pounds from his sophomore to senior season and has the frame to add even more, which I like a lot. He was a stand-up rusher for San Antonio, but many teams think he'd be fine with his hand in the dirt too. Obviously, that would be the situation if he were to play for the 49ers. He's a bit of a project, and he's more of a guy who shows in flashes, but he's someone that certainly can help that front line for San Francisco. Good lateral quickness, drives through the target pretty darn well, so Davenport checks in there at number five. Just has to work on his consistency, and if he does that and it works out, boy, he'd be, be quite a find there for San Francisco. All right, number four, I talked about him earlier, Roquan Smith. So I'm liking him more and more each and every day that I watch this guy and the more that I analyze this tape. Elite athletic ability, a wonderful football IQ, which is something you truly need in a linebacker. Yeah, he's a little undersized. I'm okay with that. Throw this guy in pass coverage, and he'll do a fantastic job. Also a bit of an insurance policy for Reuben Foster should any sort of trouble go down with him in terms of a suspension from the NFL. He was a high school standout. Change of direction is exceptional. From a pure value standpoint, I think drafting Roquan at number nine is really a nice move there for San Francisco, so keep an eye out on him. Let's go to number three, Tremaine Edmonds. So you can look at Roquan and kind of combine him with intelligence. Tremaine is more athletic ability. He's long and rangy, unique frame that NFL teams will love. Disruptive in all phases of what he does. He's got the quickness to play edge as well, in my opinion. He's primarily an inside linebacker. That was what he essentially performed as with Virginia Tech. But I think the 49ers, if they draft him, could kind of experiment a little bit, try him out at different positions. Plenty of room to grow as well. Just 19 years old. Think about it. He's going to be a third-year player when he's 23 because he's turning 20 uh, next month there. So Tremaine Edmonds, an unbelievable talent. Issue with him is sometimes he relies too much on that talent, too much on that athletic ability. It doesn't have the instincts at times. But again, plenty of room to grow, plenty of room for him to continue to learn as a linebacker in the NFL. Let's get to number two here. Dream scenario, Bradley Chubb falls to number nine. Let's just talk about this for a second, though, because there could be some chaos atop the draft. I'm talking about the Bills trading up to number two. You got the Browns taking Darnold at one. Maybe the Bills take Allen at two, then Mayfield off the board, and somebody's going to fall here. Let's say it's Bradley Chubb, perhaps the best defensive player in the draft. He looks the part. He's long-limbed with a broad chest, built shoulders, thick legs. This guy is a disruptor, bouncy on his feet. He's relentless. And, of course, it would be an unreal scenario if he is there at number nine for the 49ers. Obviously fills a need in terms of edge rushing and pass rushing ability for San Francisco. So if I'm looking at needs right now, obviously it's interior of the offensive line, it's edge rusher, and it's linebacker. All right, and I'm kind of going through those needs as I look at these players. So Chubb checks in at number two, the top prize for the 49ers. Yes, he has been number one all offseason long, and he will continue to be. Quentin Nelson fills in a big-time need at the guard position because I'm not so sure I have confidence in Jonathan Cooper and Tomlinson and Joshua Garnett, although... I'm certainly more confident in Garnett than the other two guards that I mentioned there. But Quentin Nelson is a top 10 talent. Some people think he is the best overall player, overall prospect in this 2018 NFL draft. You see on your screen there an all-pro type of ceiling. I love fantastic guard play. And watching the tape on Quentin Nelson, you can't find a weakness in this kid. And so... He's a road grader, can do both zone and man schemes, so he has that versatility. Yes, he is not of the weight that a typical Kyle Shanahan guard really falls into, but I think John Lynch makes an exception here. If Nelson's there at number nine, I think you have to, have to, have to take him. Why? Because you're thinking about the longevity of your franchise quarterback. 
And that starts with the interior of the offensive line, and it starts with pass protection. Quentin Nelson will help in that process. So there you go. He checks in at number one. Let's summarize my list here. We got Quentin at one, Bradley Chubb at two, Tremaine Edmonds there at number three. Roquan checks in at number four, and then Marcus Davenport there at number five. My latest list of first round targets. I'll have a full seven round mock draft coming up for you guys in the coming episodes of the 49ers Report. So stay tuned for that. Do you have a question for me? Be sure to let me know, and it will be featured on the broadcast coming up on Sunday. It's the 49ers Mailbag. Leave a question in the Facebook comments section, YouTube. Hit me up on Twitter, at MrRogers99 as well. I'll be sure to answer as many questions as I can. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are wondering about the upcoming NFL Draft. So happy to answer anything that's on your mind. All right, folks, I'm Cam Rogers for the 49ers Report. I'll see you next time.